hello so uh, as i already told you in the previous class so uh, that one numerical problem this is asked in one gate examination so here what we discussed in the previous sessions this problem is based on that only first i will read the problem and i will let you understand first then we will see how to solve this problem you read the problem i am just reading the problem a coolant to fluid i'll use some other pen for this for this a coolant to fluid initially at 30 degree celsius always if there is a fluid then fluid temperature you have to take as t infinity tube which is 30 degree celsius fluid or any air any gas okay any liquid all we have to take as t infinity tube next heated flat plate a coolant fluid at 30 degree celsius so this is a flat plate a coolant fluid is flowing over the plate at temperature of 30 degree celsius plate is maintained at a constant temperature of 100 degree celsius this is the plate so this surface temperature of the plate is 100 degree celsius the boundary layer temperature distribution at a given location t is equal to 30 plus 70 e power minus y okay so where y in meter is the distance normal to the plate and t is in degree celsius if k is equal to 1 watts per meter kelvin the local heat transfer coefficient is so we have discussed in the previous session what about local heat transfer coefficient okay it's the same kind of problem so this is this is the problem which is purely based on this thermal boundary layer thickness in the previous sessions if you watch you will understand what is thermal boundary layer thickness i have explained the theory now we are solving the problem based on thermal boundary layer thickness okay so how to solve this type of problem first you see first you you understand what is given okay so there is a plate over the plate fluid is flowing fluid is flowing at the temperature of 30 degree celsius and the plate is maintaining at a constant temperature of 100 degree celsius when so as we discussed in the thermal boundary layer thickness always the fluid layer which is adjacent to the surface of the plate will be at the temperature of plate only then when it is moving upward then at last after some height uh, after some uh, bound, thermal boundary layer thickness that will reach the temperature of free stream uh, well, uh, temperature or the fluid which is moving at 30 degree celsius maybe after some distance that is thermal boundary layer thickness at this point that will be like this temperature ts will be 99 percentage of t infinity and this height if you want to see you see the previous video of this topic this is delta t y okay so in this they have given y in meter uh, this line also you have to see this y in meter y in meter is the distance normal to the plate normal to the plate in the sense perpendicular to the plate that is called normal to the plate okay so where y there are two axes one is x another one is y here sorry i will use some other pen so this is x axis this is y axis so the temperature is temperature gradient is there in the y axis only gradient means variation in temperature okay so temperature is varying from this point to this point okay so where temperature is varying they have given in the problem in y direction okay then we have that profile they given okay how much they given t is equal to 30 plus 70 e power minus y this is the temperature variation they are given in equation you have to uh, derive this equation so that you will be getting that final value okay how much it is okay so for this thermal boundary layer thickness that day itself we have discussed one formula to find out the local heat transfer coefficient what is that formula which is h x is equal to minus k of the fluid hope you remember this formula dot t by dou y y equal to 0 divided by t s minus t infinitive this formula we studied so now we are going to use this formula to find out this only in the question it is asked see what is it is asked 
local heat transfer coefficient. So to find out local heat transfer coefficient, what is the formula? Hx equal to minus k of the fluid into dou t by dou y, y is equal to, at y is equal to 0, what is the temperature variation we need to find out and T s minus T infinitive. Okay. So, first you find out that dou t by dou y at y is equal to 0. Find that equation, what is the equation is given? T is equal to 30 plus 70 e power minus y. That equation you write. So, what is given? T is equal to how much? 30 plus 70 e power minus y. 30 plus 70 e power minus y ok now you just differentiate with respect to y so dou t by dou y so if you differentiate then it will become 0 then 70 e power minus y minus e power minus y so minus e power minus y ok but y is equal to 0 then you put in place of y 0 so 0 plus 70 minus e power 0 so e power 0 is 1 so this is minus so minus 1 so dou t by dou y at y equal to 0 equal to minus 70 ok so this we have found now what is the another thing k k is given how much the thermal conductivity of the fluid which is given us 1 watt per meter kelvin ok that is ok now, what is another term? Ts minus T infinitive. Ts is also given. How much Ts? 100 degree Celsius. What is T infinitive? Which is 30 degree Celsius. Okay. Now, we have to find out the local heat transfer coefficient which is Hx equal to minus K. K is 1 into dou t by dou y at y is equal to 0 is minus 70. So, minus 70 by T s minus T infinity which is T s is 100, T infinity is 30. So, minus into minus will become plus. So, 70 by 70. So, H x which is equal to 1 watts per meter square Kelvin. So, this is the heat transfer coefficient at y is equal to 0. This is how we have to solve the problem. Sometimes they will give the equations like this, t is equal to this and sometimes they will give the equation like this, dou t by dou y at y is equal to 0. They will give the temperature directly like 70 degree or 80 degree. They will mention the temperature okay. or otherwise instead of this, they will mention in the question the temperature uh, variation with respect to y is 80 degrees Celsius then we can directly take that into the formula. So, this formula we have to remember this is the problem based on thermal boundary layer thickness. So, the heat transfer coefficient local heat transfer coefficient we need to find out which is minus k fluid into dou t by dou y is equal to 0 by T s minus T infinity. This is important formula that we have to remember to find out the local heat transfer that is at that particular distance in any plane like x or y or z what is the heat transfer coefficient in thermal boundary layer thickness concept that over the plate which is this formula ok i think i hope that you understood this problem likewise we will solve the numerical problems based on the theory topics we have seen already we will start solving the problems hereafter ok thank you